What stirred the water of the Bethesda pool, an angel, or Satan? How to respond to the absence of John 5 verse 4 in the West Cot? And Hort texts, is the word agalos? In the text is receptus of John 5 to forment as a messenger of Satan. Once upon a time, Jesus visited a place of Hellenistic pagan healing, the Pool of Bethesda. Understanding the Pool of Bethesda as a pagan temple would be difficult without historical understanding and evidence. As well as the cultural context during the time of Jesus, the story of healing at the Pool of Bethesda as a temple dedicated to the worship of the god Asclepius is evidenced by historical research. The region of Jerusalem came under foreign rule after the return of the Jews from Babylon. For example, during the rule of the Seleucid dynasty, particularly under Antiochus, the fourth Epiphanes from 175 to 160 for BC, efforts were made to Hellenize the pagan worship in their conquered territories, including Jerusalem. Antiochus even entered the Temple of God which was opposed by Judas Maccabeus Hebrew, Yehuda Hamakabi, commemorated by the festival of Hanukkah. The discovery of the Copper Scroll from Qumran mentions a place called Bet Ezdetean, meaning the house or place of two pools, which might refer to the city of flowing waters, Bethesda. The term Eshtetean, in the dual form, is intriguing because Eusebius and a traveler from Bordeaux, two authors from the 4th century, mentioned twin pools at Bethesda. If the Pool of Bethesda was indeed a place of Hellenistic pagan healing and worship for the god Asclepius, then what about the part of the New Testament text included in some original language manuscript copies that mentions? In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. John 5-3-4 The Greek manuscripts of W. H. Westcott and Hort for John chapter 5. Verse 3b and verse 4 do not contain this passage. However, it is present in the Byzantine manuscripts and in the T. R. Stephanus Textus Receptus and Byzantium. It seems that some copyists of the New Testament in the estimated 4th-5th century were not familiar with or did not understand the ritual cult of Asclepius and its affiliation with the Pool of Bethesda. Therefore, it is suspected that in these Byzantine and TR manuscript copies, someone added an explanation about an angel of the Lord coming to the pool and stirring up the water in an effort to clarify things for the readers. Unfortunately, the addition of the explanation in verse 4 in the Byzantine and TR manuscripts actually complicates the situation of the pool of Bethesda, being of Hellenistic paganism. Subsequent generations of readers have often misunderstood the additional clarification provided. These added explanations miss the entire essence of the story and introduce bias. The commotion observed in the water at the Pool of Bethesda was, in fact, a component of the ritual where the priests of the Asclepius Temple would activate the interconnected pipes linking the upper and lower sections of the pool because one set of pipes had a higher elevation than the other. This resulted in a movement or disturbance of the water in the pool. The flow of water from the upper reservoir would then trickle down into the lower part of the pool. However, the scribes of the New Testament manuscripts around the 4th-5th century AD who added the description of an angel of the Lord going down into the pool and stirring up the water likely did not understand this. Consider the construction of the site of the Pool of Bethesda. A reconstructed model close to the original can be seen in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. The scribes of the New Testament manuscripts, particularly in the Gospel of John, may not have been familiar 
with the existence of the Asclepius Temple cult at the Pool of Bethesda, so they added the character of an angel of the Lord, stirring up the water to provide an explanation to their readers. As to why the water in the pool would stir, I believe the scribes did not intend to alter the Bible text. They simply wanted to add an explanation. However, we now understand that it is precisely this explanation that biases the narrative in the New Testament, Gospel of John. Disclaimer. In this regard, personally, I can accept that the TR manuscript, which is suspected to have added that phrase, and the WH manuscript specifically for the issue of John 5 to 3 4, may be considered as accurate manuscripts. Nevertheless, given that even Satan possesses the ability to perform extraordinary wonders, such as agitating the water in the pool and bestowing healing, and the word agalos in John 5 to 4 is in the sense of an angel, messenger of Satan. Note that the TR manuscript only writes agalos meaning angel, messenger, and there is no edition of Curio's Lord. This allows for the possibility that there are indeed disobedient angels who are allies of Satan. Therefore, this can also be a consideration for interpreters who lean more towards the TR manuscript copies. I give the audience the freedom to consider it themselves. Is Jesus, in this case, syncretizing the Hellenistic cult with his power? Absolutely not! Lord Jesus, Yohava Rapha, the Lord Red, Adonai who heals. He came to the pool of Bethesda, in showing his mercy according to the name Bethesda, which in its Aramaic form, Bait Kasada, meaning house of mercy, house of loving kindness. Jesus Christ, the incarnate God, visited this unclean place, which was unworthy of his presence, to pour out his steadfast love. He even condescended to come to sinful sufferers, who sought alternative healing from other gods besides the powerful God of Israel. We can compare how Lord Jesus treated a blind man at the pool of Siloam. There, Jesus healed the blind man by spitting on the ground, making mud with the saliva, spreading it on the blind man's eyes, and saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. Lord Jesus instructed the blind man to cleanse himself, performing the Jewish ritual of immersion, Tevila in the Pool of Siloam, which was entirely a place of Jewish ritual. This differs from what Lord Jesus did in the area of the Pool of Bethesda. It is crucial to note that in the healing recorded in John chapter 5, Lord Jesus did not command the one he healed to bathe, perform Tevila in this Pool of Bethesda. Instead, he commanded him to get up, take up your bed, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked John 5 to 8 to 9. 